Alright, now let us continue with our tin film. Okay, so um, now I want to talk about uh, this one. Okay, the oil film on water. Okay, uh, this is the we still in uh, two sources in phase, uh, reflected light with no phase difference. Okay, uh, it is uh, with lower refractive index. The first layer is lower lowest refractive index, and then following with higher refractive index. The last layer is highest refractive index. So oil film on water is actually one example for this one. Okay, oil film on water. Why 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 do I say like that? Because uh, the three layer for oil film of water we can say is like this one. Uh, the first layer of course is the air. Okay, start with from the air, and then the oil is on top of the water. The oil the oil layer is on top of the water. So the water is at the below. Uh, water is at the below. So oil film is covering the oil. Eh, no, oil film is covering the water. Uh, oil is on top of the water. Uh, why why is on top of the water? Because oil is less dense, uh, less dense than water. Okay, and uh, water is denser. Uh, normally the denser the denser medium has highest higher refractive index. The less dense medium like oil, less dense medium has lower refractive index. Uh, okay, uh, so it is uh, oil uh, oil flow on water. The air oil water is also follow low higher highest refractive index. Uh, so it turns out uh, two sources in phase also. Yeah, for these two sources, the reflected light uh, they will have no phase difference. They have they are both in phase uh, for this oil flow on water. Okay, so as you can see here. Uh, it forms a rainbow color. Why you have rainbow color? Yeah, on on the uh, on the oil. Uh, it is because uh, they reflect. We can say they they form bright fringe for different wavelength. Uh, they form bright fringe for different wavelength due to different thickness of the oil film. Uh, it's like you see uh, oil uh, to form the bright fringe. Uh, it follow this formula. Uh, let me write it down. Okay, to form the bright fringe for this this one, uh, the formula is um, uh, two and t equal to m lambda, isn't it? Ah, uh, so the one with uh, the the thickest part, the thicker part, thickest part of the oil will form bright fringe for longest wavelength. Ah, uh, so, uh, I can draw like that. Uh, maybe let me draw up. Uh, this is the different thickness. Uh, see. The thinnest part, uh, the thickest part. Okay, let me draw again. Uh, yeah, here's the thinnest part. Uh, yeah, uh, oil uh, is not even, you know. Uh, yeah, uh, this is the actual case. This is the air. Let me write, draw again. This is the air. Uh, this is the oil flum. Okay, uh, the thin flum. Uh, this is the our thin flum covering the water. Understand not? Uh, this is the this is the water. Uh, so okay. Uh, oil flume. Uh, this is the maybe let me let me. Uh, this is the water. Okay, and this is the the oil. Uh, is this one? This is the oil. Uh, okay. Uh, so um um yeah. The thickest. Which part is the thickest? Which part is the thickest? Uh, this one. You see that? Here, here is the thickest. Uh, here is the thickest. Uh, I can say the thickest one. This, this is the thickest. Uh, yeah, the thinnest is this part. Uh, the thinnest is this part. Thinnest one. The thinnest one. Uh, okay. So, uh, we know that first. Uh, let uh, let us identify the wavelength for violet light. Uh, maybe just the blue light. Okay, wavelength for blue light. Wavelength for um. Okay lah. Just just like violet light. The wavelength for violet light is actually the shortest, 400 nanometer. Uh, whereas the red light, the wavelength for red light is the longest, uh, 700 nanometer. Uh, okay? Uh, the violet light is something like, like this. Lah. Uh, something like this. Uh, very short. Uh, but the wavelength for red light is very long. Yeah. Okay. So... Uh, the thickest part of the flume will reflect the thickest, the thickest part, the thickest part of the thin flume will reflect light with uh, longest wavelength. So this part will 
that's that's why here you can see red light uh, so here you can see uh, red light uh, yeah you can see red light uh, here you can see red understand or not uh, because uh, the wavelength the um, again uh, so because the wavelength of the red is the highest uh, be, uh, for the thickest part you can see red light yeah here you can see uh, red light uh, let me draw uh. here you can see red light uh, but the thinnest one the thinnest part you can see uh, violet light uh, here there's the thinnest uh, the, the smaller the thickness it reflect light with lowest wavelength uh, so here you reflect light with lower wavelength uh, okay uh, why? It's because here it has a smaller thickness. Uh, smaller thickness uh, means uh, it reflect light with a smallest wavelength. Uh, so you can here you can see violet light. Uh, here violet. How to where? Which one is a violet? Uh, just take blue lah. Yeah, just take blue. Uh, here you can see blue light or violet light. Uh, blue is actually near to violet. Uh, okay. Uh, so that's why you can see um, different color. Uh, like you see if here violet, the blue uh, means the blue one is is the thinnest. Uh, is the thinnest. Uh, yeah. Here is the thinnest part. Uh, thinnest part. Whereas you can see the red light. Red light means a lot of oil there. Uh, is the is the thickest part. Yeah, thickest part of the oil. Yeah thickest part of the oil you understand that uh, so the bigger the wavelength the bigger the wavelength uh, it forms the bigger the wavelength of light it forms uh, the uh, fringe of that color at the thickest part of the flame understand okay the smaller the wavelength the small the smaller the thickness the higher the wavelength the higher the thickness the smaller the wavelength the smaller the thickness okay that's it uh, so that's why you can see different color uh, different color because of different thickness uh, because of different uh, thickness of what of oil flame uh, uh, forms uh, different uh, wavelength you know different uh, color of different wave uh, forms different uh, uh, color or wavelength uh, okay different thickness different wavelength yeah that's it yeah that's why uh, because uh, different thickness because the the we can say the oil flame is not even yeah it has different thickness that's why it form a uh, color with different wavelength okay now here you can see um, the thickness cannot be zero uh, first of all our oil can never be uh, zero thickness if you have zero thickness of thin flame means the thin flame is not existed yeah the the thin flame does not exist if it, zero thickness means the thin flame is not exist uh, so thin flame cannot be zero if zero it means uh, the the thin the thin flame can you imagine flame with zero thickness uh, uh if thickness equal to zero means the thin film not exists uh thin film not exists if thickness equal to zero uh so the thin film cannot be zero so uh in order to have a uh, non zero thickness so the let's say for the bright fringe formula bright fringe formula the smallest order the smallest m can only be equal to one ah uh, because the thickness cannot be zero imagine you put m equal to zero what will happen uh, imagine you put m equal to zero this thing will happen uh, yeah uh, 2nt equal to zero times lambda equal to zero that means the thickness thickness of the flame is zero that means the thin, thin flame does not exist which is impossible okay uh, so for this equation the M start from 1 it does not start from 0 huh? uh, because uh, impossible to have zero thickness of impossible to have uh, zero thickness of thin film uh, it, if, if zero thickness of thin film means the thin film does not exist so uh, this is uh, impossible so uh, you cannot have uh, if you are using the formula 2nt equal to m lambda 
uh, the m the smallest m is equal to one you cannot put uh, you cannot put uh, for this one m you cannot put zero okay m you cannot put zero it start from one yeah start from one or two or three or so and so on okay but for this formula for this formula um the m can start from zero the smallest of m is actually zero okay m can start from zero because if we put uh, zero into it the thickness we still have thickness you see uh, let's uh, let's try yeah if we put zero over there to nt equal to uh, zero plus half lambda so the thickness still exists uh, which is equal to uh, nt still equal to half lambda so there is still thickness uh, yeah although you put m equal to zero there's still half lambda uh, so the thickness is not equal to zero uh, for this case uh, the m can be equal to zero yeah it starts from zero okay yeah, zero one two three uh, but for this one uh, the m cannot be equal to zero but the m must start from one uh, okay uh, okay m minimum okay that's it for this one and uh, i want to move on to the next one ah, okay before um, uh, i move on uh, there's one very popular ways the que the exam question will ask that is what is the smallest thickness uh, the question asks for what is the minimum thickness uh, uh, provided uh, a wavelength of certain thing for the thin film uh, so to uh, to have a minimum thickness uh, so the two if you are using the bright fringe if you are using the bright fringe formula it is equal to 2 nt equal to m lambda okay so uh, what is the minimum thickness uh, so my question is what order do you need to put yeah, to have the to find the for, uh, value for minimum thickness okay minimum thickness means the smaller the thickness that means you need to put the smallest wave smallest uh, order smallest order so what's the smallest order in order to have the minimum thickness uh, for this formula uh, you need to put m equal to m you need to put minimum which is equal to one cannot put zero uh? cannot put zero because if you put zero impossible you will have zero thickness of thin film like the thin film does not exist okay uh, so um, m you put equal to one but if the if you are using the dark fringe if you're using dark fringe formula 2 nt equal to uh, m plus half lambda okay so the question asks for minimum thickness that means you must have the minimum order so for this one the order minimum you can put equal to zero uh, because uh, the order you can safely put zero you still have half lambda there uh, for the just now the bright fringe one you don't have half lambda you cannot put zero you must put at uh, one okay uh, so that's how you solve the questions okay uh, but sometimes the question does not ask about thickness of thin film it asks about the wavelength uh, the uh, i saw this kind of question what is the the like uh, this one normally asks about maximum wavelength uh, what's the maximum wavelength you can find uh, so for this one if you're using the formula bright fringe okay let's look at the bright fringe formula which is the uh, two and uh, if you want to find the wavelength, if you want to find the wavelength, uh, the formula or order the m you need to go below there. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, just the order m go below. Uh, wait, wait. Wavelength you want the maximum. That means uh, I put the wavelength. The wavelength go below. Uh, the wavelength go below. Uh, so the wavelength go below. So uh, what happened to the formula? The he the formula will become. Uh, m equal to uh, 2 nt over lambda uh, 2 nt equal lambda so the question asks for maximum wavelength maximum wavelength wait wait let me see uh. maximum okay I, I, I put I, wrongly yeah uh. I put wrongly I shouldn't um, okay forgive me yeah uh. is it is the order that need to go below yeah uh. order need to go below okay uh, let, let me write it down again Okay, so uh, what is the maximum wavelength? That means the wavelength put in front, wavelength put in front, uh, the the order go below uh, for uh, for the bright fringe. Now, uh, so if the question asks to find the maximum wavelength, maximum wavelength, uh, what order do you need to put for bright fringe? 
Ah, so if you want to find the maximum wavelength, this order need to be minimum. Understand or not? Need to be minimum. Can I put uh, m equal to zero? Ah, cannot. Again, ah, huh? the m must equal to one only. You cannot m equal to zero for this bright fringe. Ah, huh? same as this one. The m minimum is equal to one. Ah, uh, for the dark fringe formula, you know. The or the wavelength is inversely proportional with the order. Okay, now how about the dark fringe? Uh, the dark fringe formula, uh, the wavelength is equal to a uh, two nt, and then below is m plus half. Uh, because I go below already. Right? I go below already. Now, uh, let's let's find out what is the okay. Uh, to find the maximum wavelength, the high the higher the wavelength, that means. The maximum the wavelength means the smaller the order, isn't it? Uh, so you need to put order minimum. Uh, this one you need to put order minimum. Uh, this one order minimum you can put what? Zero. Uh, can put zero. So the same as this one. The question will only ask. Uh, will only ask minimum thickness or maximum wavelength. It won't ask. It won't ask. Uh, what is the maximum thickness? And it won't ask what's the minimum wavelength. No. Yeah. No such question. Uh, no such question. It only asks about minimum thickness of thin film or maximum uh, wavelength because he want the order all become minimum. Understand or not? Uh, you you don't have a maximum value for order. The the order can be maximum is to infinity. Uh, the we have a minimum order for bright fringe. The minimum order is one. The dark fringe the minimum order is zero. Uh, yeah. So this is the one lah. I already write down here. Uh, so for in two in force two sources in phase, the minimum order for bright fringe is one. The dark fringe is zero. As long as you see there's only m lambda, means the minimum order must be one. But if you see the formula has a half lambda there, half lambda there, you can safely put m equal to zero. Uh, okay. So we have finished about the two in phase sources. Now let's look at the uh, two anti phase source. Uh, two anti phase source. Okay, uh, I, I, so this is the following videos, yeah? So I stop record now, so please look at the next video.